Welcome. This is a Patreon request for an interview with The Warning. The Road, The Stage, Episode 79. Let's get it. You guys are from Monterey. Yeah. Yes. What part of Mexico Mexico is that? Uh, it's up the north. Okay. So it's basically, it's like two hours from Texas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, below Texas. Yeah, below. So if we're talking about food from from your home, like what's something that traditionally you, like from there? Yeah. Okay. Cabrito. Um. Yeah. Cabrito. cabrito. Okay. Which is, which is is it baby goat? Oh Holy. my God, that's yeah. delicious. Cabrito, baby goat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And it's a very, like, specific thing from Monterrey. Monterrey. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there was, like, a very big Jewish settlement yeah. in Monterrey. Yeah. So Cabrito was a very big part. The waffles are kind of more, like, the same. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Back here. Yeah. <laughs> Cabrito and waffles. Well, well I, I feel, I feel come with the jokes. Pete, Pete had some notes prepared for the interview, mm. and he wrote, Cabrito on the on the notes. Got to it before I even had a chance. And, uh, oh my God. Because I don't know. Kid goat mixed into the waffles. Yeah. Oh. No, wow. No. Did you say kid goat? Isn't that yeah, what that, it, it's that, that kid would be goat, it. Right? Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Baby goat, kid goat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I do love goat. Have you eaten? Goat. Have you eaten I've much never goat? Never eaten goat. Lamb, but never goat. Okay. Goat, you guys have goat lamb is incredible. Very much? I don't. I've never had goat. Really, what is lamb in Spanish? Ah yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Just get very, very specific down. Yeah, yeah. Now there is sure. a secret ingredient in the waffles. No. Uh, when I, I was telling my wife, I'm like, I don't know, make waffles in the morning for the for the girls, and she's so like, nice okay. She you. just actually got back from a Mexican vacation. She's like, well, I brought Mexican vanilla back. <gasps> so there is actually Mexican. It's Mexican hey, vanilla. No, this is the nicest thing anyone has yes. ever done for us in an interview. Like, like it's. <laughs> It's, I don't know if it's a stereotypical, yeah. but this is so Canadian. It's so like sweet. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> much for the waffles. Well, you're very welcome. Yeah, we're we're excited you. to have you here. We've it's so laid never back. done an interview this early, I don't think. Ooh. No, you know what, what's funny, actually, is I have a little bit of experience with one of your uh, tour mates right now. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, Brad, who's singing mm -hmm. for Three Days Grace, yeah. yes. was with a band called My Darkest Days at the time. Oh. And I don't know why the interview got booked. So I work in radio. Mm -hmm. uh, so the interview was booked for 7.15 a.m. <laughs> oh. Right? Yeah. So yeah. I get to the station at 6.30 just to make sure everything's prepared. The bus is already in the parking lot. Mm, and yeah. as I'm coming into the station, the door of the bus opens, just a billow of smoke comes out. And I'm pretty sure the party hadn't stopped from the show after wow. the night wow. before. Oh. And I thought, oh, shit, this could be a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> but they were good. They were really good. Okay. They were definitely right. still in full-on party mode. How long ago was that? Uh, I would say that's got to be at least 10 years. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, at least 10 oh years my God. I was so if I see years, Brad, see if he ago. remembers okay. the seven. He's not going to remember it. Well, all right. Yeah, we will, we'll ask. Did you catch what Pau just said? I was 10 years, 10 years ago. <laughs> that's crazy. You know, I start work super early in the morning, majority of the time. Um, well, I used to. I used to work in L.A., Los Angeles, and I'd start at 5, 5.30, 6. So I'm leaving my house at 4. Now I start a little bit later, but I'm still up fairly early. So 7.15, that's nothing. I feel kind of Our boring is now. very different. Yeah, yeah we yeah. were yeah. we were sleeping. Asleep. <laughs> we were sleeping. So you guys yeah. played last night in Calgary. Yes, yes we, did. we did. Where where was that show? At the Great Eagle. Eagle? Yeah. The yes. Casino? Yes. Yeah. yes, it was. It was. Yeah. 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 It was really fun. It was our first time there and mm -hmm. playing there as well. Mm -hmm. The people were amazing. They were really energetic. It was awesome. It was. Can you gamble at eighteen in Calgary? Let me know. Cool. It was really cool. Yeah. Cold as well. Yeah. Yes. Like cold inside as well? Yes. No. Okay. No, yeah, wait. No. I was playing with like two layers of pants, two pairs oh, wow. of socks. Yeah. And wow. I'm sweating up there. <laughs> just it was really cold. We're not used to this weather. Okay. Yeah. So, then, so we're like over prepared. Now you've. 
played Canada before. You guys were here earlier this year on the east yes. side, yes. Yes. right? But yeah. you haven't done Western Canada proper in the winter. No. no. So how did you get, from, like, you guys are fully equipped with the jackets and the <laughs> yes. whatever, Everything. so yeah. was yeah. there a big shopping trip? Um, yeah, yeah, and we're still kind of shopping as we, <laughs> as, you go. As, as we go. It just gets colder and colder, and we're not, like, the coldest we get in Monterrey is, like, zero degrees. That's it. And that's, like, our most intense winter. Yeah. So right now, we're I love when their accents come out. Yeah. 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 So we, we just keep buying more layers as we keep traveling. <laughs> uh, and you're on, so you're on your way to Edmonton today, right? Yes. yes. Or do you have plans yeah. in Edmonton outside of so they're in Canada. show stuff? Do yeah. we stay in Edmonton tomorrow? I don't know when we have our free day. We sleep there, Rudy? but we... Uh, <laughs> we <laughs> oh. oh. Grand Prairie is the day off. Okay, yeah. So is it yeah. pretty? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we got to watch his face. Uh, oh. oh. Grand Prairie is the day off. Okay, yeah. So is it yeah. pretty? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he was so much hesitation. Yes. Great you, Brewery's got a, a, a reputation. Peter, Peter used to be my boss of the radio station, and you kind of <laughs> loosely gave me a job opportunity in Grand Prairie once. You said it's on. If if it's there, you could probably take right. it. Right. I didn't take it. Yeah. Okay. Oh okay. No God. offense to All Grand right. Prairie, but <laughs> as far as the shows go, shows are pretty legendary. Every oh, big time. Talks big time. Enjoys okay. the crowd and has a good nice. time. Is, yeah, you're just you're you're up north a fair ways. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. Is it gonna be cold? Grand Prairie is going to be yeah. very happy to see you. They will be very happy. Okay. very happy to see you. You're also <laughs> bring them some warmth. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're also touring with other friends of the show, yeah. uh, Johnny and Renee from the Standstills. Standstills. Yeah. 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 Quite well. Yeah. Awesome. I ha we haven't actually had a proper, you know, we haven't properly them. Yeah. Yep. We've been running around the shows, yeah. but I met some of them. Like, I've just said, like, yes. hi, and they're like, hi. Between the sound checks. So, yeah. Like, hi. Yeah, they're, They've got cool. some stories to tell, because they drove from Ontario out to the, the Vancouver show. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. The and and snow like, I understand that they made the it just in time yep. for the show on but, like, Vancouver. They an hour before. Yeah, they arrived at 6 p.m. and played 7 p.m. They were insane. Yeah, yeah. I, I, crazy. and we were just arriving, and I was like, I don't know if I like I could have done that. They were amazing. Yeah, yes. like honestly, kudos to them. They're really cool. So yeah. what would be like? So again, they had to drive through mountains and snow temperatures and putting chains on tires to get through. Yeah, what like what's the worst driving conditions you guys had faced in Mexico? Like what? I in biggest? Mexico. Oh. Um, have no. we? I, it's. I it's mean, been you know, this, this, uh, honestly, the streets of Mexico are not that smooth. Oh, so. I feel like that's adding to stereotypes, but I have to agree. Yeah. Like yeah. You're, it's like a free massage chair. Yeah. The whole way. The whole They're way. pretty bad. Every time we, this sounds so horrible, but every time we're like in the US or here in Canada and we're driving through the streets, it's we're like, always like, oh. they're so smooth. Yeah. It's insane. So, But honestly, it's been pretty chill. I feel like the craziest yeah. things we've had so it's far. It's desert. It's desert, but over yeah. here, we're very scared because it's snowing all the time. Yeah. And we're like, oh my God, it's the middle of the night. Are we swaying around? We do not know, but our driver is awesome. Mm -hmm. Alan? A, Alan yeah. is yeah. awesome, and he's yeah. doing a great job. Yeah. So we're all very... Um, and is this his first trip through this kind of environment as well? Like, I, I don't, don't know. So. With, us, no. with us, yes. Yeah, okay, so yeah. he's got... Yeah. He needs to lie right now. Say so yes, yes. <laughs> I have driven through snow before. <laughs> awesome, and he's yeah. doing a great job. Yeah. So we're all very... And um, is this his first trip through this kind of environment as well? Like, I, I don't, don't know. So. With us, no. With us, yes. Yeah, okay, so yeah. he's got, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we've yeah. had bands before. I don't know if you remember when the, the Lazies had come through. And they had from, an Austra from Australia. From Australia, yeah. And they had an Australian driver. And they actually were going even further north of Fort McMurray. And I they had know. never experienced uh -huh. yeah. that. It doesn't that sound cool. All, that means so. that I think as we speak, Alan is trying to figure out how he's going to get the hell out of the, the back <laughs> alley right now. No, no, no. <laughs> Coming in <laughs> was an adventure. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, that's oh, fine. That's fine. Work. We got you, waffle you, power. You can <laughs> take the morning off. <laughs> waffle power. Um, well, uh, again, thank you for hanging out. We've got this communal creative studios here, which is affiliated with uh, a really great venue in town, Bose Barn Stage. Ooh. And we don't often get in person guests, especially throughout the pandemic, because mm -hmm. it's all been right. over Zoom. So it's very exciting to have you here with with Pete's waffles. Yes. yes. Thank you for having us. Yes. Yeah, it's very exciting. And uh, it's been a big big few years for you but this year especially with the album release how how are you feeling about everything we're Ooh. feeling great about Good. it especially that we can actually tour with the yeah. new music yeah. that's yeah. like 
the biggest thing because we actually recorded the album in 2020, mm -hmm. um, but it didn't come it out released. until <laughs> no. this year. Yeah, so. Well, yeah, so we kept that album for two years, and it was a really like, um, I want to say paulatina. Like, no, but I don't know how to say that in English. Uh, uh, it was like a, a very release slow that release. was stretched out. Yeah, stretched okay. Out. Like it was done and like it's all sitting there, perfectly packaged, yeah. ready to go. There's been nothing tinkered with it since it. No. no. Wow. So no, it's been weird that this is our new music, but it's like three years old for us. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it still feels really new every time we play it because mm -hmm. um, it's really exciting to visit all these new places that we've never visited before. Yeah. All right now, this is our first tour, like official proper tour in, in Canada. Canada. Yeah. But this year was also like our first tour in the US mm -hmm. and we've just been outside of our home for like the whole year and it's an amazing like meeting all these people and visiting all these new places and playing the music live it's just been such yeah. a cool experience yeah. it's the best still thing home like that oh, is yes, home yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, no plans to change we're there that. like well, yeah. every <laughs> three months and we only stay there for two weeks yeah but it is still but our home and that is right yeah I feel like we still want to keep that our home because it feels really special to come back and like when we just arrive like at the airport and everyone's speaking Spanish we're like, it's like, oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Yay, we're home <laughs> so yeah. hopefully we can keep returning there for the next when do you get home next um, um okay this is very funny actually November? at the end of November this tour ends but we are home like three days and yeah. we head out to Colombia and Peru and then we stay another two days home and then, and we, then go we go to Nashville, Nashville. so oh, okay. we're just gonna be like Back and forth. But, but, yeah. Christmas at home? Yes, we do. Yes. 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 So it's not going to be too cold in Christmas. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty happy about that. <laughs> yes. And then what's what's the Nashville trip for? Is it a show or are you guys sitting? Oh, no. Oh, we're no. we're going to do some writing. Okay, cool. Yes. And it's it's going to be fun. Have you done the Nashville experience? No, not we've never all. been to we've Nashville. Actually never been to which is Nashville. insane. Yeah. It's, it's insane. weird. We've, yeah. e we've played like Everywhere. a lot in the U.S. this year, but we haven't touched Nashville. Which is Wow. It's the current two. It's 100 dates, right? Yeah. Know? Yes. Wow. I feel like, yeah. uh, year, I feel yes. like scheduled like the ones that you see on the tour, yeah. but I don't think we counted the ones in the beginning of the year. Yeah. yeah. So no, it's a bit did. over. No, we did. Yeah, we, we did. did. We, we did. did. Yeah. Like all the acoustics and stuff. Yeah. That we had on oh. That, that goes into yeah. Past past I know you can't show. see him, but over there is Rudy, Rudy our manager. <laughs> manager. He knows. He knows, he knows the dates. The stuff. Running the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been playing a lot this year. We yeah. we're making up for the two years we didn't play, yeah. Yeah. squeezing yeah. it all. Big time making making yeah. up for it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh it's just so nice to hear this interview because it's so down to earth. It's just a conversation. It's not question here, question there. They're just talking. I love that. For the two years we didn't play, yeah. Yeah. squeezing yeah. it all. Big time making making yeah. up for it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, actually, our producer, Ryan, uh, plays bass in a band called One Bad Son. Mm. And you guys, hey, Ryan, did you play on the same day at Sound of Music? Is that in Burlington? No, the day before. He, but he played uh, that oh, Sound of Music right. Festival in Burlington, Ontario in oh. August. What's oh up? Oh, my God. Burlington. We, okay. We, we, we barely oh. missed Burlington. you. Oh, okay. We yeah. barely missed wow. you. Wow. That's Canada, right? It's just such a small yeah. world, yeah. and everything is just so connected. Yeah. yeah. That's cute. I and remember when... <laughs> that place because we had, like, the RV dressing room. Oh, oh I remember. Yes. I remember. Yeah. Oh, there were a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah. yeah. And that's yes, awesome. there would have been. There would have been. My <laughs> mom lives, like... like, five minutes from where you guys played. Oh, nice. It's a very nice it's area. The, the yeah, one by the lake, right? Yeah, there's a lake. Mosquitoes. Yeah. Mosquitoes, and it was hot. It was very it was, hot. Yes, and it was our first time playing in Canada. Yeah. Ever. Oh, ever. wow. Yeah. Wow. Really nice. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty, uh, that festival is a big deal, too. They bring in a lot of, a lot of people for those shows. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Very cool. And then, so, and tonight, sorry, tonight you're going to Edmonton, mm -hmm. and then you yes. go to Grand Prairie. Yeah. And yes. then your Alberta adventure is over. Oh, really? I, really? I think, isn't I it? I think. Yeah. And then it's into Saskatchewan. Yeah. So you guys know oh, it's because we, <laughs> we don't know Canadian geography. You know, what's really funny is, and, and the way tour routing happens in this country, and I guess obviously venue availability and all that, but we see it so often where a band will play here and then come up yeah. here and then go back down over here and then come over here and then go back up That's here. That's really frustrating. It's very, it is. Yes. When, yeah. when you're in the bus and that happens, you're like, wait, who planned why? this yeah. and why? <laughs> but yeah, it I did mean, happen in the U.S. states. 
Oh a yeah, lot. that we did like Florida and then we went back up and then we went back down and it was it was really weird. weird. I don't know the routing for this and one. And it's not like you get to really necessarily probably see a lot of the countryside as you're yeah. going by, no. right? You guys are trying to get your sleep and rest yeah. and yeah. you're busy on the bus doing Yeah, that yeah. is very sad because we did wanna like we went through the Rockies, right? So we oh, wanted well, to see the Rockies. Like, but in the dark. So get, yeah, yeah, in the no, dark. We were like, I was going to ask you because down. Monterey is very mountainous as well, right? Yes. But I'm assuming oh, you know your very stuff? different. Yes. Very yeah. so. They definitely did their research. I love this. Yeah. Monterey is very mountainous as well, right? Yes. But I'm assuming oh, you know your very stuff? different. Yes. Very yeah. So different. I was going to try to see a comparison between our mountains yeah. and yours. Oh, oh very different mountains. mountains are very pointy. Uh, yeah. Like you'll get snow in yours no. at all? Never. No. Okay, no. so it's still. It's a wall. desert. Oh, okay. Well, it's there will be like, like the rare occasion where everyone in Monterey just kind of like, <gasps> there's yeah. snow on the <laughs> tiny little pit. Yeah, that's like the world ascending. It's miracle. It's not normal. It's not It's not normal in Monterey. But the mountains are very different. But they're like I feel kind of at home here because yeah. like when we're touring in places where there is nothing, yeah. like everything's it's just like it's weird. It, it feels really weird. Like, but when you see something dotting the sky, like mountains, it's like oh okay, it feels a bit more familiar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now cute. they're very different. And you guys have uh, like peaks. Is it you have pines? no. I said uh, like the trees. Yeah, yeah. we trees. also have trees. I mean, <laughs> yes, no, but they're no. not that like trees. Like those trees. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We live in a desert, so like it's the Christmas, mainly like, like the traditional exactly. Christmas trees. Yeah. 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 yeah, it feels very Christmassy right now. It's so cute. I feel like like I'm in a movie. <laughs> it's gonna feel like that yeah. here for the next six months. Yeah, yeah. 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 It gets old <laughs> fast. Oh. <laughs> it really does. Well, whereas it's really new, so it's it's still cute. You're bringing a little extra excitement back into it. So yes. Um, for those that don't know, what's the age range here? Oh, oh right. okay. Okay, so Al is the youngest. She's 17. Okay. Ah, 17. I love that. I just yeah, like, I, I thought you were going to say, yeah, yeah. Like, I know, like, I'm 22. All I'm right. 20. Yeah. And I'm you've 17. been... I mean, the older sisters always speak for the younger one, right? Is that <laughs> kind of the case? That's great, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay with that? Uh, I'm okay with that. that. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, you started playing music together, like, a long, long time ago, right? Yes. A long time ago. We're it's, babies. Uh, it's nearing up to 10 years now. That's wild. Do you uh, consider yeah. The Warning 10 years old? Yeah. 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 We started playing, like, in 2012. shows in 2012. And the first one, if my research was correct, was a Christmas, uh, Christmas festival, yes, right? A it school was, Christmas festival? It was, like, <laughs> um, in Mexico, we call them posadas. So it was, like, the, the Christmas party of, like, the whole school. And we played our first song there, and it was... It was it was cute. I mean, we were super tiny. We were really what young. song was it? Uh, it was Gawky Rock and Roll to You by Kiss. Oh, yeah, we did a cover. Version, yeah. yeah, it yeah. was it was really cute. Like I, I see it. I still remember what I was wearing. Yeah, me too. I yeah, was me dressed too. in neon <laughs> green for some reason, <laughs> and uh, we were tiny. But that's yeah, like we where we really fell in but love that's with playing like, together. We really fell in love with playing together and performing. But the, it was a shock to the whole school because, like, our friends knew we played instruments, but that's Nine. it and then just like wait what you're performing and all everyone at the school was just like what is this but if you take into account that i was 10 yeah yeah you were 12, 12. and i, I was, was seven. seven that's wild yeah well, that's no, we wild were, yeah. we looked like toddlers so and, and then your your weird. family is very musical no no um, I, yes. they like music they're very and they, they're involved. really passionate about it but they don't play anything my mom's like, a dentist yes. oh wow okay yeah. so okay so where like um and, and music isn't treated uh, the same in this country necessarily as it is in other countries where mm -hmm. in some areas, some schools, it's not necessarily a priority. Oh, right. yeah, it's mm -hmm. not a priority. Not a priority at, at all. So your school no. wasn't like encouraging you guys to, you weren't spending hours a day playing music at school or anything? Oh, no, it's nope. quite the opposite. Like, okay. Don't do that. Interesting. Yeah. Why? Why is that? Because uh, like, culturally, I feel like it's viewed as a career path that is not viable. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was like, oh no, why don't you focus on like maths or whatever yeah. so you yeah. can become something else. And I'm sure that definitely changed at that school <laughs> after they went through it. No, why don't you focus on like maths or whatever yeah. so you yeah. can become something else. And for us, it was always like very music orientated. So when we started playing like at our school and stuff, everyone was like, oh, Okay, but yeah. no one was like, "Oh my God, yes, I fully support you." That's Keep awesome. doing this, no. yeah. Yeah. But and so no band program at all, not. No, yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, we were those generations who got a music program started okay. in the. It was a school, funny music, but program. it was, <laughs> it was like a marching band without the, the marching. marching. Yep. And it was, it was weird. It was, <laughs> were you in it? Were you in it? Oh, yeah. it was. We it was had like to you had oh, okay. to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you and, got and to pick an instrument. 
I played uh, sax. Nice. I yeah. played sax. I didn't want to learn another instrument, so I picked percussion. Yay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Um, was that sound like, and you, you guys had already been jamming together, obviously at home yeah. by that point. So was this incredibly boring to you? Yes, or? it was. Okay. Yes. Okay. I you failed. Know, in, I loved, I love learning yeah. the saxophone. So I was, was really, fun. I, I really, really liked and it. And teacher yeah. was nice. But like playing hot cross buns, like yeah. throughout <laughs> yeah. the whole year. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. So that sucks. Like, yeah. I, I need to like. Yeah. Why is that something? song universal? I had to learn to play that on a recorder. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. just <laughs> easy, I guess. Easy. Recorder. We had it as well. We had We had the whole shebang. Have you? incorporated sax into your set no, no. Yeah, i we really always joke to. about it i mean always not yet you kind of have sure. to, don't and you? i actually have one so like i own a saxophone but like um it will be very hard for me to sing play the guitar and, and somehow just sax. like that's fair sax in. so we're, we're figuring we'll figure it out i do think surprise sax appearances in rock sets are highly underrated oh though. and they go over <laughs> huge yeah. right? and they only have to be like 20 30 seconds long yeah yes, 20 dope. 30 seconds that's a lot that's a lot, I mean, that's do, a lot. Do, a, do a quick little sax riff and then uh you know get back to the sure. we'll do a break and yeah. we'll just and play then the sax. if you guys get tired you can just like go off stage and i will just like Pull it out and play Careless well, Whisper. Oh, and just kind of yes, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I love that. I love, I like that. that. I like that. Let's totally do that. Yeah. If you just have the sax strapped to your back the whole time, <laughs> the whole show, and the then whole for 20 show. seconds, move it around, and then back, back again. Yeah. That wouldn't be encumbering at all. I love that. I love that. No. Yeah. So, and then, uh, so, okay, you start playing basically on your own accord. That's your decision to, to be form a rock band. Mm -hmm. You start getting serious recognition. Um, I'm curious about this Berkeley program. How did that oh, right. transpire? Okay. Um, so we were on like this big uh, rolling wave of like wanting to know about our instruments. So we were just like literally learning a lot. And my dad got the idea like, let's go to like an actual music school. So we were looking at Berkeley to mm -hmm. go over there for a summer. And we did. Yeah. We got uh, the the scholarship, and then we went to the Ellen DeGeneres show, and yeah. they actually supported us in that decision. It was just like, and they helped us get there as well. Yeah, um, that's awesome. But it was a very cool experience. It was awesome. Five was weeks. Five weeks. Six weeks. Well, Six no, weeks. We did, it was a five-week program, but we were another there, week before that yeah. in another program. Because uh, they were a little bit not concerned. But we actually did not fit in the age group. Yeah, of the I thought yeah. Maybe the age yeah. would be much, much different. Yeah, so, so like that's why they put us in a program before that for younger ages, okay. and then into and then the we five weeks, five just week to program. see like how we would. It do. was really funny. Like, uh, it was still like really weird to see other female drummers, yeah. like in the classes. But I was like super young. I was you were thirteen. Tiny. Yes. So it was just like me in a classroom with like. 25 year old dudes and i was like yeah hey. yeah that was weird Pop has always been like <laughs> really you know, tiny really that's pretty tiny. badass so it looks very it, it funny. was hilarious <laughs> but i i felt like i was really young but ali you were i yeah. was 10 10 at so, berkeley, berkeley. Yeah. You, you say looking at uh, good music schools you went to the music school <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 10, at yeah, 10 that's yeah, pretty yeah, impressive ten. You would it just see Alice just like with my mom helping her carry, carry the, the bag. I couldn't even carry my bags. <laughs> like, it was like, oh my god. Because the campus is really weird because it's not a campus. Yep. It's yeah. just just so many buildings Random spread buildings across, across. Mm -hmm. Boston, and it was really annoying have, like having to walk all of that carrying a base. Yeah. Poor At little ten. ten year old Ali. Yeah. yeah. But it, it was my like, legs. It was, oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. Like I couldn't it carry because it hit my legs. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> From <We're> behind. <laughs> but it was such a like. Uh, different experience for us because yeah. mm -hmm. music had always been just between us yeah so like sharing it and hearing other opinions about the same things we were playing but like with other people mm -hmm. was really weird and it was also our first time playing like in different bands oh, with other people right it was so yeah. different for Alan us and i were in the same band That's because terrifying. she because was, I was 10 really years young. old yeah. i was just like okay you can be with your sister but we shared a band with like five other people and we we're like how are we gonna make this work Weird. but it was it was cool yeah. it was interesting it, it, it was, was very i feel like we grew a lot in that sense of mm -hmm. like um working with other people because we had never done that before and i feel mm -hmm. like that is such an important part of music it's just like sharing and knowing how to communicate mm -hmm. through Your, music with yeah. other people because I, I feel like that's the hardest thing to do like 
properly communicate your ideas mm. and we have really good communication because we're sisters mm -hmm. we know each other and we even though we're not saying anything we can kind of understand each other but when you don't have that type of like really personal connection with other people like it takes work so yeah, i feel like we it. really um work that ability yeah because imagine playing in a band and like playing a song and not communicating with like, true collaboration yeah, like yeah. not yeah. feeling being disconnected from it that would be weird i feel like you're very lucky to have done that especially at such a young age because you could probably argue that just playing the three of you as close as you are um you know you might not be as open to criticism or yeah. feedback yeah. as if you just kept that synergy going just the three of you for a long time so doing that at such a young age with strangers and people who are much older than you too, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, it sounds terrifying. <laughs> it it kind of was, was, but it was really fun. Yeah. Because it was also very um, exciting to see that we could play with those people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that we weren't falling behind. It was just like, okay, I can learn new stuff from this. Yeah. Yes. And you just kind of like kept growing yeah. in different places that you didn't know existed. I wonder what they all think about these girls now. <laughs> their teachers and and the other uh, members of those bands. Like, I was in a band with that girl. <laughs> and I, like, kept growing yeah. in different places that you didn't know existed. It was but really I totally cool. agree that it was it was a good time to learn oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Step, it was. Definitely. Yeah. And at that point, like, as you see us now with our work, we've grown to be very much... Um, extroverts now yeah but we were very we were shy, really shy. Well, individual understandable understandable <laughs> yeah, we were just, I mean, everyone yeah, starts out shy thrown into. Yeah. big time and also like in english oh. it was also oh. very confusing language. that there are a lot of things <laughs> that um i don't know if it's only like in the u.s or but here, things too. like with music like that music don't terms. apply to the rest of the world so it was like, like what like uh, movable dough. Movable dough. What the hell? That is not a thing no. anywhere else because we don't use A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, let, si, do. Right? Yeah. So it was really confusing when people... That's the dough that I thought she was talking about. What's the other dough that... I gotta, I gotta go back. Like that music don't terms. apply to the rest of the world. So it was like... Like what? Like uh, movable dough. Movable dough. What the hell? That is not a... What is that? What webble dough? I thought she was talking about the do re mi, all that. A thing anywhere no. else because we don't use a b c d e f g. Right. Do re mi fa sol let si do. Right. Yeah. So it was really confusing when people uh, said like, "Oh no, this is do," and it was an e. I was like, "It's not do. Maybe it's the one in the scale, but it's not a do." Wait, they were. It's not this is at one. Berkeley. Yes. Yeah. And it was really. W was it confusing. like music beginners class? Oh, it was. <laughs> 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 okay, so, so basically, and you guys they're... ended up teaching Berkeley how it's done. No, but, but it was no, really good. But it's a universal thing. Like if you go and like have a score between you, even if you're a professional, like the solfege will be, if it's the the third interval in a scale, it will be me, even though that's it's not, not the not note. Me. Yeah, that's that was really it's confusing. Really confusing. So it's almost just a visual tool, yeah. in, as yes. opposed to yeah. Okay, it's, that's it's wow. not used it everywhere. Weird. It's really nice to hear them talk about songwriting and like she was just saying the intervals and the yeah it's a trip I wonder if she learned that or they learned that from berkeley or they knew it before i don't know or maybe they learned about it on the road a visual tool yeah. in, as yeah. opposed to yeah okay it, that's it's wow. not used it everywhere so it was also like learning yeah the u.s i really remember this it. like brazilian student be like but that makes no sense yeah <laughs> yeah people who weren't like, from, like the u.s were so confused <laughs> we're, and we're, we're really like it's like that's not a thing and we we're like i agree but we will have to learn how to use it yeah, yeah. Yeah. so it was also really cool to see music in like another in a different cultural setting it, mm -hmm. it is yes. different yeah so we learned a lot we learned a lot did yeah. they teach you anything about the business side when you're oh in the I, five week program i mean i maybe they do i'm pretty sure we didn't take okay. any yeah. of those courses because you could just like pick yeah your... yeah you mm -hmm. would pick what you wanted to go to mm -hmm. and um so we but they do no, we did but you do have, have like a it was like a seminar 
on, on yeah there was one and i do vaguely remember it there but are no. we didn't specifically take them no no. Wow. So how about doing stuff like this? Did you, you guys take any courses on oh, no. interviewing no. and all that? Or this is just oh, all no. kind of learned as you? No, but I mean, we've been doing this for more like half of our lives. Well, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we kind of picked it up as we went. Our first interviews are very funny. They're horrible. <laughs> They're, really bad. They're horrible, man. They're really bad. But we were tiny. So, but yeah. no, I, I think they do give like media lessons. I think they should more than anything i think they do yeah. we didn't take any it's such a big part of being like an artist nowadays yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's yeah. just like if you if you want to promote yourself right. in yes. that in oh, that yeah. like with that platform for sure yeah right sometimes it's like why would you even bother yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, what's the point of this? <laughs> but not today, not today. Not today. It's going very well. You guys have, you, your experience today is, is not the day. Very oh. much with interviews, so. Oh, Yay! Good. And what's you guys that? must enjoy Canadians because I don't know if you realize, like, like Alessia Yakara, Canadian. Yes. Yeah. Grandson, who you've got Canadian. on the remix of Choke, Canadian. Yeah. Most of our team. Yeah, most of yeah, our team that we, we work have a with, lot of, like an yeah. international management, they're all Canadian. Cool. So we work a lot. Yes. Do you have any Canada. connection to this country at all? Um, <laughs> like, my dad really likes Canada. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's like all Canada. we need. <laughs> he actually studied here in back in 19, I don't know. No, he was something. in high school. He was in high I think. school, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, wow. He studied here for a while. Yeah. So he really likes this country. But um, we really like it culturally. Yes. We feel really welcome here. Mm -hmm. And it's just like... In the airport, we were just like, oh my God, we were like walking through customs and they were like, are we pronouncing your names correctly? And I'm like, what is going on, man? It's no problem. Like, okay, yeah, sure. Everyone is just so welcoming and, nice. and it's it's yeah. really nice to be here definitely yeah yeah which i think is our stereotype so it's a probably yes, a good stereotype a nice to have stereotype. Right? Stereotype. 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 with the <laughs> waffles i mean i was yeah, just I like mean, look at this. this is so canadian i love it <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you um how do you feel about the like like we said you've gotten a, a significant amount of recognition over the last few years you've been given like cosigns by some incredible top of their time musicians how do you deal with that at your age? Like, do you have to work on your ego? Your, your, like, cause I mean, it must be tough. You're, you're only 17 still. You're touring with, you know, playing shows with the Foo Fighters and Kirk. Well, Hammett's let's get into a specific. You've shit. got Lizzie Hale walking onto a stage with yeah. a guitar. I know. It's a gift to you. Like, how do you? I'm going to cry again. No, it's like, <laughs> it, man, I still have like no words for that experience. I have, I was completely shocked. By the way, this was a surprise. And really? my, yeah, like no one knew that was going to happen. Actually, at that time, I was angry because my, uh, my guitar tech was supposed to hand me another guitar for the next song. And I was just like, why are you not giving me anything? I have to play a <laughs> show. What is going on? We and have then just Lizzie comes Full out. Full diva like, moment about yeah, to happen. Yeah, I was like, wait. <laughs> um, and then Lizzie comes out with a guitar. I was just like, ah! Wow. <laughs> How am I going to no, but yeah, it's been absolutely incredible. As for the, like the, the ego thing, I mean, I no. I feel like we just... Sometimes we can't, like, we don't believe, like, those things. Yeah. Still, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's We're still, you're, yeah. We're, like, in denial. It's weird. And uh, we feel, more than anything, like, really humbled by it. Because yeah. these are people that, like, we look up to so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to be recognized by them and them telling us like hey you're doing a good job it's like okay we're doing a good job okay we're good, we're good. okay we're doing a good job <laughs> and it just motivates you to yeah. be doing even like an even better job yeah and i feel like um it's a really important thing to be like self-aware of where you're at and i feel like we're, we're really clear on that mm -hmm. on the things that we need to like do better at and we have very good communication and not only with us but like our whole team cool mm -hmm. and uh we're really open to like constructive criticism that's a very big part of being a musician yeah and that's uh, huge so yeah it's a big step it is yeah. <clears throat> and uh, we have to admit it's not easy to take either way yeah but we're open to and we know that it's personal. <laughs> like it's not like you suck as a person it's like you could be less sucky at this <laughs> You know? Interesting. So, well, yeah. I when you it's all about the approach. Up, if this would have made a difference with how young you are, that people were maybe a little kinder with it because you were so young and maybe, maybe it kind of eased maybe. you into it a little bit. Could go the opposite way. Or it could go the, or it way could go the opposite yeah. way. Yeah. 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 We've yeah. had, let's say we have both experiences. Yeah. 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 We have people so, like sugarcoating it and, and people, we're like, no, like give it to us like real. Yeah. And people um, being kind of mean about it. But yeah. honestly, I feel like within a, like our team, we're always very conscious of what we need to do better. But we're also very, 
uh, we take like moments to say like, you know what? We did a really good job today. Congratulations. Yes. Let's celebrate. Let's, oh, I was going to say like, make a toast but we don't drink or anything but like <laughs> let's eat donuts today because we had a good show yeah, it's so like it's just toast. about being conscious that we're like making those steps and moving forward and getting better yeah. but never being like too cocky about it yeah. we know that being a part of a musician it's just like you always can always get girl. better yeah yeah and wow. when crazy good things are happening just don't believe it <laughs> yes. so like, this is not actually real okay this is a crazy good thing i'm having a hard time believing i've got three kids of my own who are actually probably pretty very close in age to you guys Ooh. and they get along really well but they're siblings yes yeah and there's bickering so yes. when it comes time to little squabbles what's the cause yeah uh, what, what we fight yeah what do you usually like, it's typical sibling things just yeah. like oh my god you are wearing my blouse just like oh my god also blouse blouse wow. 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 Um, like when we're touring and things, oh. it's like, you have a mess, pick it up. Don't put your luggage in the middle of the room. <laughs> That's usually what <laughs> we tell Turn off the light, because we're all okay. like laying down in the bed. Pretty normal stuff. Pretty normal yeah. Stuff. yeah. yeah. Who gets yeah. to shower first, that type of thing. But very normal sibling, sibling things. things. Very yeah. calm. Yeah. And we, we usually just like resolve it very quickly. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's my turn. It's okay. Who gets to go to the lobby for the Uber Eats? Oh, that is oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. horrible. That's One, two, three, not it. Go, like, <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, <laughs> or like, the three of us. The three of us. Three of us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. you all go together? Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. So like, if no one wants to go, yeah. the three the of us three are going to go down there, and we're going to take that food. But no one wow. sacrifices That's herself. No. So yeah, the no. three of us will <laughs> do like go. Equality. Okay. Yeah. That, is that mentality is going to help you guys going 100%. forward. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 100%. Well, we got to wrap yep. up. Um, right. But thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. And uh, is there anything you want viewers to know about the warning going into 2023? Yeah, what's coming up next, real quick? What's so oh. tour? Oh, oh we're God. gonna we're gonna keep touring Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna play in Colombia and Peru. So if yes. you're from Exciting. Colombia or Peru, you can we're gonna check play there. there. <laughs> and uh, for next year, we have no idea. Okay. But, but we're there gonna be touring the world. They're like, what can we say <laughs> without spoiling anything? For next year, we have no idea. Okay. But, but we're there's gonna be things touring. In the yeah, work. Probably we're gonna come back to Canada. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But guys, check out our newest album, Error. Yes. We hope that you like oh, it. Check it out. And, and we'll um, be here if you ever need rock and roll from us. Yes. <laughs> We're All here right, for this it. This concludes Waffles. With Waffles, the warning, Waffles, uh, with the the warning, warning. and uh, the road to stage on a Wednesday. 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 <laughs> The Road the Stage is produced by Ryan Cooley and Riley Sur Yin at the Communal Creative Studios in Red Deer, Alberta. In partnership with Go Services Inc., Sawback Brewing Co., Tourism Red Deer, and Bose Bar and Stage. That was super cool. Thank you for suggesting that. That was so laid back and very enjoyable. Let me know what to check out next. Too cheesy, my friends. <laughs>